Can you have good days without the bad days? When I was at school, a teacher once told me that children in Africa would be more grateful of an education. Well, of course. And if the roles were reversed, I'd be more grateful as well. Probably not from that teacher though, he was so miserable. Despite sussing this out, his words have stayed with me over the years and I've been able to apply the same principles to a lot of things in life. If you had a hard week, you enjoy the weekend more. If you get used to nice food, bad food tastes worse. Our norm is continually changing based on what's happening with our lives and the impact of events are always getting eroded by the law of diminishing marginal utility. Fast forward to college, where I'd study or work every day, sometimes both. I had little spare time and spent most of my week being told what to do by others. And yet, I was happy. I'd look forward to and treasure every day I'd have off. I remember coming across music that I loved listening to while cleaning the floors. Even 15 hour days would be considered good if I managed to finish half an hour earlier than normal. Little things meant more to me because I had less. Compare that with now, I'm happier now than I've ever been. Or at least, I should be. I do what I want, when I want. I have fewer worries, more friends and more appealing future prospects than I've ever had before. And yet, I feel I waste it. It's like comparing the first day of a summer holiday with the one near the end. It might still be better than school, but it doesn't feel as good as it did at the beginning. So back to the original question. Can you have good days without the bad ones? Yes, but you don't appreciate them as much. We crave a roller coaster in life. We want things to look forward to, but also need something unpleasant so that we can get it out of the way and feel good about it. I'd like to go on long walks or to do chores that I hate just so that I can feel free from it afterwards. It's almost as though I'm creating an artificially bad situation. But it's not as simple as that, is it? If what I've been saying is the case, then somebody with everything will end up being as happy as somebody with nothing. Clearly it doesn't happen. If I carried on with a job I loathed for long enough, would I end up liking it? What if you were to kill yourself at your highest ebb? Does that count as cheating the system? No, these situations don't fit in with the first model. If you get used to everything going your way, you'll be happy as long as it carries on going that way. It just means that the amount of win would have to grow every time for you to feel the same amount of happiness and when it doesn't, it's going to hurt more. Likewise, if you always lose in life, it's still going to hurt, but things that go right will feel nicer. I still think it's worth your time to try and be happier than you are now. I've avoided doing this up until now, but let's show you some more specific, everyday examples. How about Counter-Strike? I go on a deathmatch server and wipe the floor with everybody. For me, coming second is a real failure. Does that make me greedy? Selfish? Or is it just because I've set my standards so high the only way I can possibly go is down? Back to matchmaking for me, I guess. Another example would be microwaved meals. At university, I started with the cheapest ones. They were fine. However, once I had a taste for the better ones, I couldn't go back. My standards had changed and I ended up spending more money because of it. Same for Vexy with lemonade. I guess this could be said about exercise as well. If you're used to a relaxed life, going on a run is a horrible experience. Once you get used to it, it's still hard work, but days without it come as a welcome break, whereas before they would have just felt normal. So yeah, this isn't meant to be a depressing video, but more of a feel-good one. I am very happy with my life at the moment. I'm just aware of that and know that I have to appreciate it as much as I can, even at times when I take it for granted. And just remember that if you're having a bad day right now, as Samwise Gamgee would say, when the sun shines, it'll shine out the clearer.